Hey guys, welcome back to my colorful country life. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new product, which is the Nioni Chalk Pastel Color Pencils. So you may have seen these floating around already, but these are actually not due to be released until around mid-February here in Australia. So for my Aussies, um, they should be available for purchase by the time you've seen this video. For everybody else, you could probably already purchase them. So um, a big thank you also to Lightwish who have kindly sent me these to try out. So let's get them out of this cardboard box. Okay, so we have um, a set of 24 chalk pastel color pencils. On the back here, we have some color swatches. So it looks very much like a portrait set with the selection of colors that we've been given. There's some great undertones and overtones as well uh, for coloring skin. Also some great colors for color correcting too. Maybe that's why there's a picture of a face on the front. They also come in this really sturdy tin. So let's open up our box. Um, and see what's inside. So we've got this foam here for protection. Okay, and we have two trays here with these elasticated handles to pick them up easier. Now, each pencil, let me lift one up. Each pencil here has a color number. There's no color name, but there is a color number. And of course, the end of the pencil um, of the barrel is to color match to the tip. We also have our light fast rating here. So this one has four and a half out of five stars. So for these pencils, the more stars, the higher the light fastness. And the barrels are made of wood. They're very smooth to touch and they feel quite sturdy in my hands. They actually remind me a little bit of my Luminance pencils. Hang on, let me grab one to show you. Okay, so the Luminance pencils have a slightly thicker barrel and they're possibly a little bit weightier too. Not, yeah, they are. They're a little bit weightier, not too much of a difference. Um, now, the core is a substantial 4.2 mil thick. So this will allow for thicker strokes as well as finer details. Remember, we're going to be working with a pastel in pencil form and not a normal colored pencil. So sometimes a thicker stroke is going to come in handy and be easier to blend out, especially if we're using these on backgrounds. Um, and let me just show you, um, what have I got? I've got um, this is the Stella Design Journey, so you can see the difference in the core size. I've also actually got a Black Widow pencil here to compare to. And do I have, I've got a, hang on, I've got a baby, baby Prisma here. So, that's... So you can see the difference in the core. My desk is a mess. I feel like I'm working on 10 different projects at the same time. I'm not used to having such a messy desk. So I've actually never used a chalk pastel pencil before. So I am excited to start swatching and experimenting. I have heard wonderful reviews for the Nioni colored pencil range. So I'm hoping that this product is just as good. Now, one great feature with a chalk pastel in a pencil form has got to be a less mess so unlike a typical traditional pastel stick that's going to get all over your hands um this one keeps your hands nice and clean we will swatch these out in a moment though and see how they fare in terms of chalk dust on your pages as well now a tip for sharpening your pastel pencils is don't use a sharpener <laughs> so to sharpen these, use a craft knife just to gently remove the wood. So just push the wood back gently with a craft knife and then get a fine sandpaper. Now I do have one second. So this is um, a sandpaper pad that I use usually to sharpen or clean, I should say, my paper stumps. So um, use your fine sandpaper to sharpen the tip of your pencil so you would just rub it around like this until you get it to a level that you're happy with or a point that you're happy with and that way your pencil is going to last longer and you're going to get less possibility of breakage now um the so these are the sandpaper pads i use and we're going to swatch the colors out and i'm going to do them in pencil number order because 
that's just how I roll. So we're going to swatch the colors out and I'm going to use my paper stump to blend them out. I'm going to swatch them in pencil number order because that's just how I roll. Um, I think I'm going to press gently, so use a gentle pressure for the swatches, same as I would if I was using them in a book because um, I would use my pastels to layer, so I'm not going to use a hard pressure. Um, and then I will blend out with the paper stump. So um, let's move this out of the way. And I've got my swatch sheet here ready to go. I'm just going to chuck um, a notebook under for cushioning. Now, normally when I get a new set of pencils, I do sharpen them before I use them to make sure there's no coating on them. I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm going to use them as is. Alright guys, now before we continue with the rest of the swatches, I just wanted to show you how pigmented these are. Um, now I pressed very gently, so I was using a light pressure and still the colour payoff here. Um, they are so vibrant and you can see a bit of pencil dust there. Now if you're using a bigger area, no big deal because you would rub that in. Um, oh, should I use this? I don't want to have to keep cleaning this. One second. They blend really easily. And should I just use my finger? I'm going to smudge this everywhere with my finger. But I just want to keep cleaning my pencil stump. Hang on. They blend out really easy, actually. No harsh, harsh lines. Not so well with the finger, <laughs> but much better with the paper stump. So I'm going to keep um, swatching.
so despite my best efforts I did smudge a little especially up here when I tried to um, use my finger to blend but the beauty of that is you can just use your eraser and rub off any pastel in areas where you didn't want it so now that was with light pressure and of course you can layer to get more depth of color um i just wanted to just try one thing with the white pencil again and just see how it colors over the top okay Because you can blend colors together as well so there is only 24 in the pack but you can blend colors to make other colors as well um or layer them on top of each other so i think we may try these in a coloring book so normally i do use pastels for backgrounds and you can certainly use these pencils for doing that in fact the pencil tips um that they have it's going to be easier to get into little areas than it would if you're using a pastel stick or um your little eyeshadow brushes etc to try and get the um, pastel in there you can get a nice sharp point with these and get into the little finer details but because this set looks like it's going to be really good for portraits i want to try basing some skin uh, i may go over it with pencils afterwards depending on what it looks like i've never actually uh, really based elements with my pastels before so this is a first for me normally just use my backgrounds um i use pastels for my background sorry so what better artist to choose for a skin demo than hannah Carson? so her paper has really good quality and she has loads of portraits to choose from so i've picked out a page from jewelry box i just need to move some space around me one second okay and let me zoom you out a bit here all right so the page i have picked is where are we this one here so we've got a great um area for skin here and it is face on so this sh should work well hopefully um what I think I'm going to do is lay down a base color first um, I'm going to use my blending stump to blend to begin with I actually broke my little eyeshadow um, looking brush thing that come with the pen pastels I really should get some more as a really good blending tools but um, I do have other tools I could use but I think if the paper stump isn't working for me and it works really well swatching so it should be fine but if it isn't working for me you'll see me switch to a q-tip or a cotton bud um as we call them here in australia um as that can get into the little areas too i'm gonna have to give this a clean first i think so let's pick some colors to try first before i go clean that up um okay so now i'm going to be using light pressure because it can always build up layers the same with coloring skin with pencils i usually go light to dark and then do another layer and then another layer until i get the color that i want and i just mix in random colors as i go so where i'm going to start with with my undertone i'm thinking i'm thinking this color here which is sort of a really pale peachy color this is very creamy I'll possibly use that near the highlight areas, but I think I'm going to do a base layer of this one. Now, to add in shadows, um, we've got a few different colours. I'm thinking something along the lines of that colour and maybe one of these colours. And then that for highlight, I really like this colour as like a lip or a cheek colour what are we gonna do so so for a darker skin tone i'd probably use this color this color that color and maybe even that color there as my darkest shadow with that as my base or a really deep dark skin color i'd probably use that as the base um but I want to do light to start with to get the hang of it. So I think we're going to start with definitely this one, which is 
what pencil is that it is number 21 so we're going to start with number 21 and then we're going to have a look and see how we're going from there so i don't know if i can um do a whole skin color with just pastels and have it look the way i want it to look i know a lot of people do do whole portraits with pastels i am not that talented <laughs> normally i work in pencils so um let's see how we go so um also before i forget when working with any pastels please use a fixative afterwards so i always use a workable fixative um so i can keep coloring on the page after i've finished with the pastels just to avoid smudging um so make sure it's a workable fixative only use a uh, normal fixative if you've finished the entire page so make sure you get a workable one um so you can keep working on the page i do have a video on fixatives in my beginners playlist up in the channel so i will pop a link to that somewhere so you can have a look if that helps you out at all so let me go and use my little sanding pad to clean this up and then we'll get started i'm actually just looking at this page now and thinking her skin would actually look really good in green tones because of all the leaves around her um but we're not going to do that i don't think we're going to do that and i don't know where to stop with her skin so I don't want to do just a face because I think that might look a little bit odd. She does have her neck down here, but do I do all the gaps in between all the leaves? Or do I just do this little bit of the neck? What to do? I think I might just do like this bit of the neck. Maybe. I might start with that and then see where we go and how that looks. Um... Now up the top here, we have this thing across her head. I don't know whether the whole thing is solid or do we have gaps? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna make it solid or gaps? So she's got no eyebrows, so it's very low down. I think I'm gonna make it like a sort of headband coming across her forehead. So that's gonna be one solid block. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So this I'm going to colour as the face and then this will be the neck. So using number 21, was that correct? Yes. And I'm just going to put a light layer everywhere. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit um, of space free, I think, in the highlight area. So a little bit on the cheekbones, maybe down the bridge of the nose and maybe on the inner eye. Um, maybe even on the middle of the chin. So... Let's zoom you in and we can get started.
Okay, guys, that is our first layer. Now, um, it might not look like much at the moment, but it is beautiful and smooth, and I love how it's turning out so far. I'm going to start to add in some darker shades now, and I think I'm going to go with this color next. So I'm thinking that one next, and I'm still tossing up between these two, but let's go with this one. And we could also add in some of this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Let's go with that one. That's the one that caught my eye first. So let's try it out. It is number 17. Now the beauty of this is if it doesn't look good, you can erase it. So let's start to add in some shadows now. And I've also just slightly sharpened the tip a little bit with my sandpaper just to get in some of the finer details.
So I changed my mind and I decided to take that skin color all the way to the bottom. I may add a touch of green in later down the track, but at the moment I'm just going to stick with a normal skin color. And so far it's looking okay. I think it's looking a little bit more on the warm side. So I'm thinking of adding in, I think we're going to go with this color. And then if it's still a little bit orangey, we're going to add in this color. So this one first, we'll see what it looks like. Maybe that one. And then we're going to go and layer them all on top. And that will be our highlight color. So next.
All right, guys, I'm really liking how it's turning out so far. I am going to add in my lightest color, which is number 20, as my highlights. And then I'm just going to go back and start layering all the colors that I've used so far until I get the look that I like.
All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave the skin tone there. I'm actually really impressed with how it's turned out. For somebody who's never used pastels for skin tone before, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm really happy with the final result. It's nice and smooth. You can see the shadows, you can see the highlights. The color is perfect. This is definitely a great set for skin tones. I'm gonna have to go over this bit a little bit more, I think, but the face is perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is um, just go in with my Tombow Mono Eraser, just for these bits that got on the leaves and just um, go through and erase them. And once I've done that, I will then um, finish off the bottom here and I will spray once I've finished with the pastel work. So that uh, is the Nyoni 24 Pastel Pencils. I'm really impressed actually. I'd love to have some more colors for a better range for backgrounds, but for portraits this has been amazing so and it was super quick to do as well really easy much easier than pencils I would even go so far to say so hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you next time bye for now